The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. How are you? Long time. Miss you. This is a Kaku-san. Forget it. I already messed it up. <laughs> I saw Borat too. It's a sexy time. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I saw Borat too, dude. Uh, I'm surprised that I saw it on Amazon like a, a few days ago or something it came on and uh i really wanted to see borat too like because I, I remember the first one and i was like oh i want to see borat too but i thought i'd have to go to a movie cinema to see it therefore meaning i was not going to be able to see borat too so i was looking for something to be in the background you know whilst i edit and work like i always do and uh, maybe put on while well, I have a little bite to eat or something. And uh, to my surprise, on Amazon, which, by the way, dude, how cool is Amazon, right? Like, I get free, for a whole year, free Amazon Prime. Like, you know, the video stuff on Amazon. Free. Don't pay nothing. Doesn't cost me a cent. How did I pull that off? <laughs> but uh, yeah, look, freaking Amazon, dude, had Borat too. I was like, really? I mean, he's just been doing the rounds on all the late night shows, promoting it. And then it's out on Amazon already. I'm like, dude, this is a brave new world we're living in. This is a brave new world. Because of Corona, that's how it is now. A lot of people releasing stuff instantly, you know, on, on all the big streaming platforms now that would normally have gotten released in the cinemas. You know what I'm saying? But no one's doing the cinema thing anymore. I mean, I mean, me personally, I, look, I don't see any reason to go to movies anymore ever i look don't get me wrong it's pretty cool big screen the big experience you know big sound and everything but let's look at this now so before the most annoying thing about going to the movies was the cost because freaking eight dollars for something that was like a dollar in the supermarket you know what i'm saying things that they just bumped the price up even surpassing convenience store pricing which already when you go to a gas station they bump the prices up and stuff you think that's bad go to the movies and see how much they bumped up the prices on a freaking dumb stupid frozen drink that normally you could grab for a dollar or two you know what i mean yeah think about it so not only do you got that and the cost and everything but usually then the movie cinemas you got a freaking park like a block away kind of situation depending where you're going to movies at because there's never any parking out front near the place because you know just never seems to be a good park you always got to walk try to sneak stuff in you got to be all covid like not covid <laughs> Co what's the word i'm looking for co not covid like covid covid what's the word you know like when you're covert oper covert covert operations covert covert you know undercover y'all know what i'm saying man i didn't want to sound like i was saying covid i wasn't corvid covet <sighs> okay just you know what i meant okay you know what i meant okay 
I need sleep. Anywho, yeah. Okay. So, anyway, it becomes this whole exercise of trying to sneak in stuff and things. Don't look suspicious at all with the big trench coat and the big freaking suitcase on wheels to bring in all your goodies. <laughs> So you do all these things, man, and then you freaking sit in a chair with some freaking dude with a big head in front of you blocking the whole movie experience because you can't see anything over his freaking three-foot afro. I mean, it's like, dude, on there. And then, and then there's always that one person who has already seen it like five times. They've seen a stupid movie, and they're like, <laughs> and they're already laughing before the scene happens. Like, I like this part. And they laughing. Then you always got that one dude who's freaking making too much noise when he's eating. He's chewing like he's freaking chewing for like a termite chewing through wood. You know what I mean? Like it's just freaking like just all these weird noises. And then there's fart master flex to your left. He's freaking just. I guess I have too many. I've got chili. <laughs> Yeah, and of all of those things that are annoying, the other thing is, the good part of the movie is coming, and so is your pee. Because that's when you gotta decide, oh my gosh, I can't hold it no more, I gotta go pee, I gotta take a pee pee. I can't hold it no more, hold it. <laughs> oh man, I gotta go, y'all tell me what happens. Well... On top of all of those negatives. Now you might go there and catch the C word. The COVID one, you know. The other COVID. The one that I was trying to not say earlier. But I... Shut up. Shut up. So, yeah. Me no go movie no more. <laughs> I will watch it here. Jeez. Save money, freaking snacks galore, easily, cheaply. I could get a million snacks for the price of one or two at the movies. Go to the toilet? No problem. I'll just pause that or let it play. And when I come back, rewind it and start it again. It's all good. Get tired? No, I take a little rest. Don't worry about parking? No. Park my butt freaking back over in this chair. I'm good. Right in front, clickety click. Yeah. So I'm talking about. So I'm saying, so. Do I need to go to movie theater? No. Especially if Amazon's got it freaking premiering live just like that. And look, everyone's going to get a clue soon. It costs a lot of money to have these movies distributed in the movie theater. The cost of the movies, especially with now shrinking audiences and shrinking theaters. There's a lot of theaters that have closed and will continue to close and become the way of the drive-in, which used to be present everywhere and now it's nowhere. Like it never was. Except now, it's kind of making a comeback because it's, it's safer to go to a drive-in than to walk in to a movie theater. Anywho. Ain't going to movies no more. That's all I'm saying. I can watch it here. Are you going to movies? Are you going to the movies? Hmm? You feel comfortable with that? Is that, that your final choice? Lock it in? You have to take a loan out to take your girl to the movies, dude. You gotta take out a small loan to go to the movies with your girl. If you go with a whole family of people, 
and you're the one who has to pay the bill, that's going to cost you. That's going to cost you. It ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. So yeah, so me personally, uh, yeah, I, I actually enjoyed watching that on Amazon in the comfort of my own home. I thought that was really freaking dope. And I could see that being the way it is moving forward. I think the days of the movie theater are long and gone. I think that it's time for the final curtain call. Of the great movie theater experience. Or not. Maybe it survives for another 10 years or so. But with the size of screens and stuff that you can easily get for your home now. Projectors, everything. Great audio. People have dedicated theater rooms in their homes. You know, and stuff. Really, like, do do you do you think that the days are numbered on the movie theater? I think so. I think so. It's like everything else. Times are changing. DVDs gone. CDs gone. VHSs, Beta Maxes, whatever <laughs> Betas or whatever they were called, gone. All that stuff, gone. Sure, there's some people who still have those machines around and, you know, doing their thing on it. But that was the beginning of it all. Those people were already in the loop. They knew. I can go get the video on my VHS from the store and they come from my home and save money. It's cheaper for me to buy that video Especially if you get two for one special that they had sometimes on the DVDs, you get two for one. Or you rent it. You rent it from freaking the freaking little thingy, the rental kiosk thing, whatever it's called, you know. Pay freaking a few dollars. Keep it for 24, 48 hours. Freaking save money still. I'm telling you, dude. Just saying. Let me know your thoughts, though. I mean, are you going to go to movie theaters? Or are you going to save your Benjamins? I just think it's a new world, dude. A whole new world. I think that COVID has sped up things that was already going to be demised soon anyways. Like, I think that's what's happened. I think it's sped up the... The, the things are already kind of on their way out. COVID helps speed that up. You know what I mean? Like movie theaters. Seriously. I just think days are already numbered. There's already big movie houses already being like they tested the waters with the, you know, on demand and straight to stream and all this stuff. And they're like, hey, man, you know, we saved a bit of money. We actually made still a lot of money by charging, you know, on demand freaking twenty five ninety five or or you know nineteen ninety nine or whatever they were charging. I remember some of those movies came out freaking they were like, dude, we made bank, we cleaned up. Didn't have to spend as much money on marketing. The cost was cheaper. It's cheaper to you know, they didn't have to do the old school way of marketing and all that. They could just social media it. Freaking people were desperate for content so you're already on these streaming services anyways. Something new is popping up. They're going to promote it. I mean, dude, it's a, it's a different world now, dude. And I think think there's going to be a lot of things over the next year in particular that are just going to become permanent. Because even with a vaccine, it ain't it ain't 100%, dude. This is These are battle scars that... No one's going to forget about any time soon. Because a lot of people lost a lot. And are still losing a lot. People have lost 
loved ones, they've lost their friends, they've lost their businesses, they've lost their jobs, they've lost their mind, they've lost so much. People are not going to forget about this anytime soon. And if you come with a vaccine that you say, yeah, we're not going to probably be realistically able to roll out to everyone until the end of 21, beginning of 22. And it's not even 100% effective. It's only going to probably be around 50 to 60% effective was what we're hoping at the minimum which is going to end up being the maximum and then hoping that other people take it. But in reality, again, good luck with that one. Let's see you pull that off. A lot of people ain't going to take something that first of all was rushed to make, even though they've tried to do their best to still, you know, follow protocols to an extent. Everything's been sped up. People don't like taking these things on the best of days. Do you think that a lot of people are going to line up for this one now? There'll be some people, but not the entire population of places. So then what? Even if the whole populations did take it, 60% effective if lucky. Ah, uh, exactly. You're going to, you're going to be remembering these days. You're going to think twice before doing things that you used to do regardless. I'm telling you. It's a new world. Is this? It's a whole new world, dude. It's no longer about the beauty. It's about the beast. Yep. Scary times, dude. But, at least we've got Amazon, at least we've got YouTube, Netflix, freaking pick one. Name your favorite streaming service. There's options to keep you entertained. It's lucky. You don't have to leave your house any longer. Save your money and Buy some Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid's cheap. Tastes great. Get you some Fritos. And some Kool-Aid. Boom. Order Domino's. Boom. Less than $10 and you freaking managed to freaking Save money and have a good time at home. Fall asleep in your chair or your bed or wherever you're freaking watching a movie from. It's great stuff, dude. Here's let me know what you guys are doing, though. I want to know. I'm really curious to see where you guys are at with this. I want to know. Are you ever going to movies again? Is this something you will do? Or will you be thinking twice about it? Let me know in the comments below because that might be answering from anywhere. You never know. May not be. But I might. Surprise! It's me. <laughs> or surprise, it's not. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. Um, I, it's just thoughts going through my mind. I thought I would just kick that all around through there, you know, with you guys. See what you guys thought. Yeah, I feel good about that. Good in this. Good talk.